Hey, I'm Robin. And I'm Tyler. I'm a pilot and we love to fly. We also love the ocean and love being on the water. A few years ago, we bought a house, completed the renovation, and turned it into a home. Now we're moving on to a new adventure. We've sold our home and are on the hunt for a motor yacht to live on down by the ocean. Please come join us on our adventure. Very early in the morning. I mean, yeah, hello. Considering we're on vacation. <laughs> we're going to look at the boat. Probably four hours away. Four and a half to put in the GPS. So, heading from Apalachicola, Florida to Jacksonville, Florida. And it's like 6 a.m., I think. Uh, it's like 6.15. Yeah. So we are going to look at this California here. Uh, like we said, it's in Jacksonville, so uh, this is the outside pictures of it, and Robin will give us the tour as we look through. They have papers. Going into a dark bathroom. Because the lights aren't working right now. I don't know if you can see, but there's an itty bitty shower with a vacuum hiding in there. Some nice storage. Over there and under there, an electric flush toilet. And we've got the little dinette. Let's zoom out so you can see better. There's stairs that lead into the engine room and the kitchen. Got a cooktop and a convection microwave. Um, we'll need to see if that works. Little sink. A nice little hidey hole over there for what's now an instant pot. Um, we've got fridge, pretty good size fridge. The stairs into the salon. Got your power panel. This is where a lower home was that was taken out and given more floor space got a L-shaped couch that's a sleeper, some storage fan, windshield with Tyler checking stuff out, um, the stairs up onto, I call it the back patio, I'm really not sure what the official term is, um, we've got stairs leading down to the back of the boat, or the aft. We've got a little kiss suite over here with a what's right now a twin that can pull out into a full size. And what's a nice treat in this boat is so over here we have stackable washer and dryer, which is really nice. Um, and then on this side, on the port side, is a th what would be the third bathroom. Got a good size shower and sink. Another electric flush toilet over there. And we turn back towards the aft of the boat. Keep going. I'm coming to the master suite, master cabin. I've got a queen size bed with a square mattress we're gonna have to trim that um, because it's actually sitting over and hang over the frame making the room a little smaller I've got all sorts of storage down there hanging locker another locker um, I think right now it's full of stuff but could be a hanging locker too you turn around you've got another locker there house which used to when the boat was built had a TV now a storage we've got a little dressing 
table over there on the starboard side of the boat. You come stand over the starboard side. There is a full length mirror on starboard side. The uh, previous owners had to replace the paneling in the back of the boat and they decided to do wainscoting, which we really, really like. Made it nice and airy and white. And then here is our master cabin head bathroom. Uh, again, sink storage. So I've got storage all around, a little mirror, uh, another electric flush toilet, and the shower. Just got a removable shower head. Pretty spacious. And that's the inside of our boat. Hello. Hi. Just uh, driving back to Jacksonville. Figured we'd uh, make some sort of recording. Let everybody know what's been going on. Uh, well, we drove four and a half hours this morning from Apalachicola to Jacksonville. Florida and uh, hooked uh, the Californian uh, again. For the and, third time. Yeah, for the third time. Because uh, we're thoroughly confused, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Why but, are we uh, confused? Uh, we just can't decide what, uh, what boat we want more. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we're driving back now. Back in the California, pretty good. Um, wow. Well, I don't know what I think. So today is Thursday. Friday last week, no, not Friday, Saturday, we looked at the Jefferson 28. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in Fort Lauderdale. And it's a really nice boat, but it needs some work. Um, and they pretty on par with the Californian when it comes to size and what they have in the boat. Yeah. Which is why we are so very confused. Because we thought we had figured it out that we were going to get the Californian. And then we go look at this boat. And it's like, well, this boat could be just as good. Um, well, the Jefferson had some... Uh, some cosmetic items that had, you know, some window leaks and some, had... some rotted wood in places, but it was just veneer wood, but had a lot of nice features too, uh, just uh, some new appliances and mm -hmm. a lot of new stuff, but... And full-size appliances, so regular house appliances, which in the boats that we've been looking at, you didn't really see it. You had a, about an apartment size stuff, yeah. fridge, and then they had the typical um, boat oven that you'd see the, the yeah. one that's on the gimbal. Um, and then the Californian that we like doesn't actually have an oven. It has a convection microwave and the um, apartment two, size. Like a, or, two burner, like electric stove. Yeah, a, an electric stove top and then the apartment size fridge. Um, well, no, the fridge is full size in the kitchen, but there's like a, there's like a dorm fridge on the, on the back deck. Yeah, that's the bar fridge. But so there's really, there's, two refrigerators on this boat which is kind of nice. And the Jefferson does not have the two refrigerators but yeah. it has the bigger refrigerator freezer yeah, with the like ice maker as Samsung well. Samsung refrigerator is really mm -hmm. nice. So. Brand new. Um, so yeah the, they had a lot of similar things that Californian has the three bedrooms and three bathrooms yeah. and the Jefferson has two bedrooms two bathrooms but it has a built-in office suite thing um, of the master cabin yeah. Which, if in a pinch, it has a, a bench that can be converted into a little full size. Well, I mean, not really full size, maybe a little maybe bit in bigger between, than a twin. Yeah, somewhere in between a full size and a twin bed yeah. um, that you can close off. There's like sliding accordion doors you can close off if you need to um, have someone stay there. Yeah. So, yeah, and then. I think the Jefferson, the, the little back patio area, I don't know what the proper term is, it is smaller than the Californian, 
but I feel like the salon in the Jefferson is a little bit longer. A little bit bigger, yeah. Than the California. Yeah. Um, the Jefferson is what, 12 to 18 inches wider? That's uh, maybe 12 inches wider. Wider in the beam than the California is, and you can but feel that. The same length. Yeah, you can feel that walking around, like you can feel it in the master cabin, feels wider in the Jefferson. Yeah. The um, walkways from the um, back to the front of the boat are a little wider as well. Yeah, the, the, the wing doors are a little wider, yeah. and the side um, walkways around are wider. And... But then the, the Californian doesn't have all the cosmetic damage that it's the Jefferson big. has. Yeah. Shell coats in great condition, the wood's in great condition. A lot of the yeah. Jefferson's woodwork would have to be sanded down and refinished, and then there yeah. was um, water damage as well from leaky windows, so a lot of the veneer would have to be replaced. Um, so, yeah, it's it's like, what are you, you know, you have to do your pro and con this to see what you like better and yeah. what feels better. So far, the, the Californian seems like the better option just because it's. Uh, there's kind of a better pedigree with Californian uh, boats, the brand, and in the end, we probably would be a, a little bit better boat to, to buy financially because you're more likely to get your return later, you know, if you ever have to sell it or anything. Um, so, in that way, oh, that sounds it, uh, you know, it is a. It could be a better buy because of that. Um, I, I will say, I wasn't there when you started the engines for the Jefferson. How did they sound? I mean, they sounded about the same, but the the most of the Jefferson was a little bit louder in the cabin than the California. The California seemed to be more insulated, was quieter. It was a good purring sound. It was just yeah, just just a low purr, even at at uh, cruising RPM. It, really was was you know no louder than like driving in the car right now yeah um so you know which was nice and and uh you know the californian does seem like a, a better quality boat overall it just feels better to me yeah I, when i got on the jefferson i just i don't know i just got that uneasy feeling of yeah we can make it work but it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot, a lot we're water. gonna have our hands full and i feel like with the californian even though it does need some work i feel like it's more move in ready without having a lot of annoyances to deal with and think that we're gonna feel like we have to fix right away yeah i think so and, uh, you know it's it's the californian is at 89 so it's 31 years old so you know it's an old boat so it has old boat problems yeah. and um, it's pretty much ready to go I mean, yeah and the jefferson's what a 90? 1990 yeah. 1990 so same about 30 years old and again old boat problems but i feel like it has more old boat problems than the california yeah. does the, the, the california you know we're, we're leaning heavily towards it i think it's, it's going to be I think we're really going to try to move forward with that and, and, and see, see, what, see what happens because uh, we think that overall it's going to be a good boat, it's going to give us a lot of you know, uh, good treatment and good adventures throughout the next few years and I think it's so. going to be a good place to live. I think so, I think um, it'll be great and we, we've already spoken about some things we want to upgrade on the California nice touches, new finishing touches that I think once we do that it'll be such an excellent boat. Yeah, I mean doing some upgrades and things is always you know nice and I always like to fix things and make things better and Robin likes to do the same so we'll just have to see what we can do. Yeah. <laughs> but yep, anyway yep. that's what we're thinking right now and that's uh, kind of a uh, Kind of an update, I guess. See yeah. what uh, we can figure out. Driving in the rain, thinking about boats. Yeah. Yeah, Florida rainstorms. Uh, okay. Well, That's we'll update. We'll update later. Bye. 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 Bye.
Hey, yeah, thanks for sticking with us through that, but at least now you know kind of what we were thinking and how we were feeling. Uh, next video, we're going to be going forward with the survey, and uh, so you can uh, see how a boat survey, survey is done. But uh, tune in next time, and hopefully it won't be so long.